Hey internet, welcome back to Learning Log 11. Uh, my name is Mark, if you don't know me already, I've been learning Japanese for six months now. It's been a rough couple of days. I think at the start of start of December, I don't know, things have been awry in general. Yeah, I, I pretty much, alongside everything else, when I was finishing up my semester at NYU, uh, I put a lot of things to the side. Japanese became one of those. So today is uh, out of obligation. Uh, <laughs> I didn't record a learning log last month, and there, you know, quite frankly, there isn't that much more to record this month. I'm recording this on my phone, I'm moving in like two days. Life is just chaos, so I'm doing this out of, you know, future me will look back. It snowed today. Uh, I have some notes, as always. I didn't bother scripting this one. What were my goals last time? To getting my commitment back on track, that didn't happen. Sample sentences on Wanikani, I've sort of been looking at those. I said huge work blocks during Thanksgiving. Ah, yeah, no, that didn't go well. I think this all started like right before Thanksgiving. I wanted to make a cool edit for this, but I was watching, or I am watching My Hero Academia. No subtitles, just in Japanese. And there's just one bit where one of the characters says, uh, Kimi no Chikara Junaika, which means. And one thing that this showed me was that watching without subtitles is super key even you know whether or not you know the show because when you read the subtitles at least you know, i should say when i read the subtitles it become you know i start to not hear the japanese right it just becomes a bunch of sounds that and then i read the words because i often read them in my head in a way so yeah that's you know that's one thing i guess you know what, i'm gonna put a goal section in the goal section at the end here i do want to have some goals so one of these goals is going to be watch a new anime without any subtitles yeah, that should be, you know, pretty sufficient. Todoist is an app that I love to use that I've raved about before. And one of the, I guess, the pivotal feature of the app is that you can type things like do homework today and it will highlight the work, the word today, set the due date of that task to, you know, the day you're writing it. And then just say do homework. I put my phone to Japanese, so I need to do all these things in Japanese. And with Wani Kani, as I've been learning the words, you say kyo wa uh, as, sorry, <laughs> you just say kyo for today. Ashita for tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll put a part of a screenshot here where I did the 17th of January, 2022. And then I just typed it after. So I said, I guess I'll put it here. Ichi, got, ichi is one, so gatsu um, is a month. So Ichigatsu, uh, Ju, Ichigatsu. Oh yeah, Ju is 10, so Ju Nana, so 17. 10, seven is 17. Uh, nichi, and Nichi is day. And as you can see on the bottom of the phone there, it shows me, you know, one thing for month, 17 uh, kanji for day, which is super cool. It's just fun to, you know, start doing that. Some more phone stuff, Japanese apps. Uh, one was like a Japanese news app I thought was kind of cool that I want to be using. I haven't used it yet. Uh, there's a Japanese radio app on there, Future Mark. Of course, I trust that you'll highlight these. One thing I'll mention here is scripts and drops. I got a subscription for these apps because I want to start writing kanji. The kanji they teach you is way behind Wani Kani, let's be real, uh, but that's okay. I think, you know, someone a while ago said that, you know, I should focus on writing the kanji later, and I was kind of like, okay. And, you know, I now agree with that. Reading it is much more important. But if, you know, some of the kanji do look quite similar, and there are constant ones on Wani Kani that come up, and, you know, it, it's useful to be able to read, and you don't have to write them immediately. And it's hard to remember exactly what the strokes and stuff are. And that's what's so crucial about remembering the radicals. In my opinion, if you remember the radicals, you can remember like, oh yeah, there are, you know, a table on two legs with um, a blue sky. And it's like, okay, blue on top of table with legs underneath. Something that always comes up for me, and it's an idea that I always, you know, cancel out of my head pretty much. You'll hear things... Uh, and very, in, you know, in this specific case, it was Hoku Hokusei, so North Northwest. This came up in Demon Slayer, it was like Demon to the North Northwest or whatever. And I was like, oh, that sounds, you know, do people say that North like Hoku Hokusei? And I was like, well, people say North Northwest in English, so like, why wouldn't they? I heard in a TV show just today, it was like totally fine. It was like Zen Zen Daijobu, I think, which is Zen Zen, which is like completely, and then Daijobu is. I'm okay, you're okay, I'm, you know, general state of okayness, from what I understand. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Oh, you know what? No, I would say totally fine. Like, that's just something people say. That's the beauty of immersion. You, you, you get these things you wouldn't normally. I have a thing about that in a minute, though. Today in Wani Kani, I got my first 80% in a while, which I'm very proud of. Um, I'm gonna open up OBS. Um, <clears throat> this is Wani Kani. So it took me, what, I'm on level 9. It took me, like, a month to get through level 8. Um... December was just, 
I don't want to talk about it. Uh, like genuinely. So this is level nine. I've been on level nine for I think three days, two and a half days. And I'm going at the rate I should have been going this whole time. You know, I'm not letting the reviews pile up to 400. I didn't actually look, I, they got to like 350 at one point and I just sat down at one point and whatever. I got through 170 this morning and it took me 29, what did it take me? 29 minutes, 49 seconds, which I think was, was really good. That was a really focused session and I got, as we can see here on Notion, an 80%. So yeah, this is what you like to see, a bunch of 10s, but you know, it would come to the point where you would get like, I would get plus 80 on one day or something. Boon Pro, I've been starting to do Boon Pro again, which is great. January 1st, I did like all of the reviews that were waiting, then nothing. Then 45, then nothing, then 87, then yesterday I did a few just to do a few. I do have something on immersion that I want to say real quick. Cause I saw a Matt versus Japan video the other day and I saw some comment on it that was like, Tip number, uh, no, it wasn't the Matt versus, it, it was a video I found through that. It's like tip number seven, like don't learn grammar. I disagree with this. <laughs> I, I'm sure, you know, if anyone's been keeping up with me, I'm sure you, you know I would disagree with this. There has to be a balance. I, to sum up my little, I don't know, to sum up what I think, what I believe, as adults, we should be using these cognitive faculties that we have to learn the rules of language. I think if you understand the number system of Japanese, you know, 17 in English is weird. It's really weird, seven and then teen, but then all of a sudden, you know, 11, 12, they're different, whatever. But in Japanese, if you kind of understand that, okay, junana, juroku, that's 17 and 16, uh, respectively, it's 10 and seven, 10 and 16, uh, hyakuman is literally, hundred ten thousands and a hundred ten thousands oh that's a million that's a really simple example number systems work like that in a lot of languages in french 80 is uh four twenties which is 80. the great thing about immersion is one you get exposed to these things you can hear them and you see okay how frequent is this you know what are these patterns i'm recognizing um you get exposed to it as you know the only way to get better at i guess numbers and such is by hearing them constantly you know I remember in high school with French, one of the things I struggled with the most was phone numbers. When we'd get an audio, they would be like rattling off the numbers and my brain had to parse them. But now I'm much better at it simply because I was exposed to it. Um, but I mean, you also have to kind of, you also have to produce and to produce, you need to learn how you think. If you can do that purely through immersion props to you. Uh, but I think a tool like Boon Pro here is fantastic. So segueing from immersion, I want to talk about my reading habit. My reading habit itself, as seen by the lack of reading rambles on this channel, has just been garbage. I realized that I can actually read these now, which is great. And I'm just struggling with, and this is not just an issue with learning Japanese, I'm struggling sitting down and reading, sitting down and, you know, doing anything. I've had a New Year's video in progress for four and a half weeks. I'm much better at reading hiragana and katakana. Thanks for turning my phone into Japanese. I just, yeah. I don't want to look up words when I read. I just, that's a whole, I'm, you know, reading issue. Read through entire first short story. It's funny how so long ago I was like, oh, I'm going to read one short story a week, but never did that. Yeah, that's all about it. I don't know what's going to happen next month. Doing Boon Pro is important. If anything, it's the bare minimum. I don't really want to be doing the bare minimum, but I think that's all I can do right now. Not to make excuses or anything. It's just... <laughs> really don't know where I'm heading. I will, my only, I guess my goal for next learning log is to have a clearer goal of where I can go. Yeah, I think I'm not giving up. Definitely not. I don't want to give up. I want to keep learning this language. I will, you know, get somewhere with this language this year. I've already gotten very far. I think that's something I have to remember. I haven't gotten nearly as far as I wanted and I definitely don't think I've gotten as far as I could be. Another goal, find a way to practice production. I would love to start recording a game in Japanese with Japanese commentary. It's just not comfortable. And I need to push myself into discomfort. Anyway, enough rambling aside. I want to be doing one video a week and stuff. The learning logs will be monthly, continuously. I haven't stopped them by any means. I just did something unhealthy with removing all my habits for these two papers. Okay, learning log check-in, December 3rd. Not much, not even, like barely one kind of this week. I just finished reviews for 55 minutes. I had about 250 and then I did like 30 lessons. Two big papers due in this week and I'm decided that's the only thing I'm gonna mainly focus on. Got the one kind it should be productive tonight. End of the week, Friday. Um, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I have no expectations of myself for anything aside from these two papers I gotta write. I think it's a mental problem. That's a whole lot of introspection on its own, but and it just backfired in the worst way possible. 
So I'm just slowly building myself up and Japanese is still one of those things I'm gonna be building up. Uh, what's important to me is that I don't give up because I've also started to do some Spanish. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. If the New Year's video has come out by now, check it out. It is super nice to see other people doing things and setting their goals and being like, oh, hey, I'm a part of this group of people. Have a good one. Uh, if I don't see you next, no, I, I'll have a video next week. Just gotta sit down and do it. At the end of the day, there's really no excuse, no way to get around simply doing it. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.